Hello everyone. Welcome to Pragya Bharati classes. This is Shyam Pragya and today we will discuss about the chapter the cell and in this chapter we have to discuss the topic structural organization of cell. So in the previous class we have discussed many things like diversity based upon shape, size and number of the cell. So cell diversity we have already discussed and today we have to start about start the topic structural organization of the cell in which we have to study about structure and function of different cell organelles. So let's start your topic structural organization of cell. Now we will study the structure and function of a cell. So before studying structure and function of the cell i just like to tell you one thing that we will study about a generalized cell ab generalized cell kya hoti hai to generalized cell is a composite that represent various cells of the body ye kya hai jo saman ek normal cell mein kya kya hogi cell to bahut tarah ke hai as we have studied there are different types of cells to ek normal cell mein jo structure honge that is known as generalized cell. So the principal part of a cell are the plasma membrane, cytosol, cell organelles and the inclusions. In the next slide I will show you the structure of a generalized animal cell and a generalized plant cell as seen under a microscope. Wo microscope ke andar kaise dikhte hain? Main aapko wo cell structure dikhaungi. Wo dono cell structure dikhaungi plant cell and animal cell. Lekin isse pehle I just want to explain what are cell organelles or cell inclusions. Cell ke andar kya kya hote hain? To cell organelles hote hain. But what are cell organelles? these are little organs or small parts of a cell ye kya hai cell ke parts hain okay so these parts of a cell are having definite shape a definite structure and a definite function such parts are called cell organelles and these organelles have the same status in a cell as the organs have in the entire body of the animals or plant performing specific functions तो सेल ऑर्गेनल जो होते हैं वो लिविंग पार्ट ऑफ द सेल होते हैं दीज आर द लिविंग पार्ट ऑफ अ सेल इन दिस स्लाइड आई हैव लिस्टेड डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम गोल्जी बॉडी लाइसोजोम वैक्यूल्स माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया प्लास्टेट्स सेंट्रोजोम्स साइटोस्कैल्टन्स एंड मेनी मोर सेल ऑर्गेनल्स दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू स्टडी द लोकेशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑर्गेनल्स therefore now we can say that each cell consists of three essential parts these are number 1 cell or plasma membrane number 2 nucleus and number 3 cytoplasm the cell organelles are located in the cytoplasm of a cell let us now understand each part in detail This slide is showing a generalized structure of a plant cell and different numbers are given there these numbers are denoting the different cell organelles to jitne bhi cell organelles hain unke numbering ke sath side mein likhe hue hain so ye aapko aasani hogi isko aaram se padhne mein aur unke numbering ke sath unke naam ko milane mein so this is the structure of a generalized प्लांट सेल अब प्लांट सेल में एक चीज ध्यान देने वाली बात है कि प्लांट सेल के जो स्ट्रक्चर होंगे उसके जो न्यूक्लियस होंगे वो किसी कॉर्नर में होंगे ये क्यों होंगे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू आफ्टरवर्ड्स और जो एनिमल सेल्स के न्यूक्लियस होंगे वो बीच में होंगे सेम वे दिस स्लाइड इज प्रेजेंटिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ टिपिकल एनिमल सेल लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग सेल ऑर्गेनल्स विथ प्लाज्मा मैमब्रेन plasma membrane is the outermost covering of the cell ye sabse bahari covering hai cell ka and the most important thing is plasma membrane is living and has fine pores through which substances may enter or leave the cell now what about composition of plasma membrane cell membrane is composed of lipoproteins lipoproteins means lipid and proteins so it is made up of 
two layers of lipid molecules in which protein molecules are floating in the presented diagram of the plasma membrane lipid molecules are shown with the blue beads whereas proteins are floating in the lipid layers it is extremely delicate thin and elastic structure it separates cell content from the external medium and helps in maintaining the internal environment of the cell ye cell content ko bahari medium se separate karta and also help in maintaining the internal environment of the cell plasma membrane has fine pores through which the substances may enter or exit the cell now the permeability of the cell membrane is selective selective means it allows only certain substance to pass through while it prevents others in plant cells a rigid covering known as cell wall is present outside the plasma membrane plant cell mein ek aur rigid covering pai jati hai that is known as cell wall jo ki plasma membrane ke bahar ki taraf present hoti hai बैक्टीरियल सेल में भी आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग सेल वॉल ही होता है प्लांट सेल्स हैव अ सेल वॉल सराउंडिंग द सेल मेम्ब्रेन द सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ सेलुलोज व्हिच इज अ नॉन लिविंग सब्सटेंस द सेल वॉल गिव्स शेप एंड अ सर्टेन डिग्री ऑफ रिजिडिटी टू द सेल विदाउट इंटरफेयरिंग विद द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेल मेम्ब्रेन द सेल वॉल is freely permeable allowing the substance in solution to enter and leave the cell without any objection or hindrance that means cell wall is freely permeable or sabse badi baat hai cell wall is a non living structure whereas plasma membrane is a living structure it can be tough rigid and sometimes flexible it is made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin it may be thin or thick cell wall provide definite shape strength and rigidity to the cell and not only this it also prevents drying up of cells it helps in controlling cell expansion and protects cell from external pathogens or any external infection next we will talk about cytoplasm so first we have to talk about location of the cytoplasm cytoplasm paya jayega kahan to cell ke andar plasma membrane ke bhitar jo most of the space hain that is occupied by cytoplasm so cytoplasm is a semi liquid substance it occupies most part of the cell within the cell membrane under a microscope and it can be seen under a compound microscope only so under a compound microscope it appears to be colorless partly transparent and somewhat watery so we can say that it is a viscous gelatinous and jelly like substance consisting of water various inorganic substances and organic molecules many chemical reactions takes place in the cytoplasm it also contains many specialized cell organelles each of which carries out a particular function living cytoplasm is always in a state of some movement and the function of cytoplasm is to surround the cell organelles let's start the discussion of the cell organelles embedded in the cytoplasm next we will talk about the cell organelle endoplasmic reticulum the endoplasmic reticulum first observed by potter in 1945 it is a network of double membranous structure found scattered in the cytoplasm ye cytoplasm mein paya jata hai and iski structure jo hoti hai wo double membranous hoti hai and cytoplasm mein kaise paya jata hai so one side it is attached to the plasma membrane whereas another side it is attached to the nuclear membrane the endoplasmic reticulum is of two types 
the rough endoplasmic reticulum which has ribosomes attached on the surface and smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is devoid of ribosomes on its surface now we will discuss about functions of endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum provides mechanical support to the cytoplasm it serves as a channel for the transport of material from one part of the cell to another part of the cell the rough endoplasmic reticulum facilitates protein synthesis while the smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in lipid synthesis and various biochemical reactions as is clear hota hai because as we all know ribosome is the protein factory of the cell ribosome ke andar protein synthesis hoti hai ab ye ribosome agar endoplasmic reticulum ke wall par attached hota ho jate hain तब एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम का मेन फंक्शन होता है प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस और अगर ये अटैच नहीं होते हैं तो ऐसे एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम को हम लोग स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कहते हैं एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ रेटिकुलम हेल्प्स इन लिपिड सिंथेसिस एंड वेरियस बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शंस नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इट सिंगुलर फॉर्म इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रियन Dear students the term mitochondrion is derived from the two greek words that is mito means thread and chondrion means granules and it is a small rod shaped organelles bounded by two membranes one inner and another one is outer membrane outer membrane is smooth and encloses the contents of mitochondria whereas inner membrane is folded in the form of self like inward projections called cristae inner cavity is filled with matrix which contains many enzymes डियर स्टूडेंट्स ये एक ऐसा सेल ऑर्गेनल है जिसके पास इसकी अपनी डीएनए होती है विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मेनी इंजामेटिक एक्शंस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फंक्शंस ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर कॉमनली नोन एज पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल एज दे प्रोवाइड इनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर वेरियस सेलुलर एक्टिविटीज द सेकेंड फंक्शन इज टू कंटेन enzymes for cellular respiration which convert the stored energy of food into usable energy the energy is stored as atp molecules which are known as energy currencies of the cell the mitochondria are also regarded as biochemical machines of the cell as they help in various metabolic activities of the cell next we will discuss about golgi apparatus golgi apparatus was first observed by camillo golgi in 1898 while studying nerve cells of owl the golgi apparatus occurs in the form of granules rods or filaments and arises from the membranes of endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus jo bane hote hain wo kis se bane hote hain endoplasmic reticulum ke membrane se bane hote hain it consists of a set of a smooth flattened structure that is known as cisterni or sac like structure the golgi apparatus is associated with some minute vesicles and vacuoles which bursts off from cisterni in plant cells the golgi apparatus is known as dictyosome it has two ends cis face situated near the endoplasmic reticulum and trans face situated near the cell membrane now we will discuss about functions of golgi apparatus it is associated with secretions of cell which such as enzymes and hormones as we know it is formed by the endoplasmic reticulum so first of all it will receive the secretions of endoplasmic reticulum then it will participate in the modification of substances from the 
endoplasmic reticulum that means it will participate in the processing of the substances received from the endoplasmic reticulum then packaging and shipping of the substances and that is the reason that this organelle is also considered as the delivery system of the cell it modify concentrates and packs the substances synthesized near the endoplasmic reticulum and directs them to the required destination it is also known as the traffic police of the cell next we will talk about lysosome lysosome the term lysosome is derived from two greek words lysis means digestive and zoma means body soma means body so these are the body that participate in digestion and that is the reason that lysosomes are also known as intracellular digestive centers ye aise digestive body hai that participate in intracellular digestion lysosomes were first discovered in 1955 by christian d dube in the liver cells these are bag like cell organelles bounded by a single membrane and these are a small spherical structure found throughout the cytoplasm ye pure cytoplasm mein bikhre hote hain and filled with hydrolytic enzymes these are present in abundance in each cell and contain digestive or tissue dissolving enzymes now we will discuss about function of lysosomes lysosome destroy and digest any foreign material such as bacteria present inside the cell they keep the cell clean and are also called housekeepers they also break down worn out and poorly working organelles and digest them therefore they form the waste or garbage disposal system of the cell lysosomes are also referred as digestive bags because their enzymes help in digestion of stored food sometimes they destroy the cell organelles and that's why they are known as suicide bags of the cell next we will discuss about centrosome and centrioles a centrosome is found only in an animal cell during cell division both in mitosis and meiosis spindle fibers develop from the centrosome the centrosome contains two centrioles which are short bundles of microfilaments arranged at right angles to each other is ek centrosome mein do centriole paaye jayenge aur ye dono ek dusre par 90 degree ka angle banate hue sthit rehte hain so now we will discuss about the functions of centrosomes and centrioles the main function of centrosome is to initiate and help in cell division in animal cell during nuclear division the centrioles moves to the two opposite ends of the cell and spindle fibers develop from it so it generally participate in the cell division so the function of centrosome is to form a spindle fiber which help in the movement of chromosomes during the cell division it also helps in the formation of cilia and flagella see you very soon in our next video where we will discuss the rest part of the cell organelles